One of the most common problems Filipinos have is dividing their inheritance from relatives or loved ones who have passed on. This is usually due to the lack of will or testamentary succession left by the deceased. A will is an act whereby a person is permitted, with the formalities prescribed by law, to control to a certain degree the disposition of his estate to take effect after his death. However, creating a will is not a common practice in the Philippines, but any lawyer in the country would recommend that everyone should at least reconsider it. When it comes to preparing a will, what are the steps and requirements needed to write one? Is the assistance or a presence of a lawyer required? What are the advantages of making a will, especially since it is not a common practice of Filipinos? Good evening. You are watching Legal Help Desk on the Solar News Channel. This show is about making the law work for you by giving legal advice on topics that matter to you. I'm Attorney Karen Jimeno. And I'm Attorney Rod Nepomuceno. Tonight, we will discuss your legal rights on testate succession. What you need to know about testate succession as well as what you need to know on how to write a will and the requirements needed to make one. Our guests for tonight are Attorney Norieva De Vega and Attorney Crisanto Nicolas of the Nicolas and De Vega Law Office. All right. Good evening. Good evening, Attorney Carlo. Hi, uh, Rod. Attorney Nikki. Good evening, right. Rod. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. Now, this, is, this topic is a paradox in a way because a lot of people don't like talking about it. Mm -hmm. You know, they, don't, they, don't, they think it's a morbid thing. But at the same time, we get a lot of questions regarding it. So, yeah. in, in a way, and it's And also, very I think to be yeah. practical, a lot of mm -hmm. people are starting to realize that mm -hmm we should really plan for death. Meaning, paano mo ba i-distribute yung may iwan mong pera o yung mga kagamitan? So, in other words, yung mana, di ba, mana, na yeah. pinag-uusap. It's usually a sensitive topic, mm -hmm. but I think a lot of people are starting to be practical about this. Yeah, and I think it's also important to, to point out that inheritance, mm -hmm. the word inheritance, most people think it, it relates to the one who's inheriting. I mean, in mm -hmm. fact, inheritance is, is actually, in a technical sense, belongs to the the stator, no? the yeah. one who's gonna. So, and it's a totality, hindi lang yung property niya, but it's also pati mga utang. Yeah. That's and correct. That's right. obligation. So, I guess so, let's yeah. go now to mm -hmm. basically if yeah. uh, you have properties mm -hmm. and you're mm -hmm. already planning, mm -hmm. uh, not necessarily kung matanda ka na, but <laughs> this is something we can clarify to people. Mm -hmm. What does it take to plan for distributing your wealth upon death? Tsaka, ano yung advantages of doing that? Yeah. It's actually very simple to do a will, as mm -hmm. uh, we will discuss later on. Mm -hmm. There's such a thing as holographic will. Mm -hmm. Hindi mo so it's, it's not as complex yes. as, as most people think. Yes, you don't even need a lawyer. Mm -hmm. You don't even need any formalities. It's just very simple. Okay. And um, kasi in our experience, it's very sad. Ang pinakamasakit talaga ng mga kaso yung kamagkakapatid na gaaway yeah. And yeah. that will happen if you don't do a will and uh, you don't take care of it before you die. Mm -hmm. Nag-aaway yan. Kasi usually, pag nawala yung uh, patriarch or yung pinakapuno ng pamilya, uh, nawawala yung bond nila. And then, may, uh, yung mga hang-ups ng bata pa na paborito to, paborito, itong isa, it crops up. Mm -hmm. And then, yun ang grabing mag-away sa kaso, magkakapatid. Mm -hmm. But, Attorney Carlo, maybe you can differentiate kung ano effect. If you don't leave a will, mm -hmm. paano ba hatiin yung ari-arian mo? And mm -hmm. how different is it kung meron ka na iwan na will? Well, uh, first, let's highlight like the importance of a will nga. Like you said, it's something that's, that's catching up. Mm -hmm. Imagine, let's put into perspective, you want to buy a car or a house, you draft a contract of sale. Mm -hmm. Now, if you die, you're leaving all of those properties behind, not merely a house, not merely a car, but everything that you owned, that you worked for, yet you will not put something in writing. So that is why people probably are taking into consideration that it might be important to look into succession. Mm -hmm. Now, should we draw a will or should we just leave it to the law? The difference would be, if there is a will, you can control to a certain extent permitted by law. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If there is no will, you let the law control for you. Siguro for the benefit of our viewers, mm -hmm. let's give an example. You have a man uh, mm -hmm. who has a wife and two kids. Without a will, tapos may nangyari dito sa father na to, mm -hmm. paano i-distribute yung ari ari niya? Let's say walang will. Yeah, walang will. Walang will. Okay. So oh. we'll go to intestacy. Mm -hmm. So una, una yan, you cut it in half because the half belongs to the wife. Mm -hmm. oh. Yes. That's and correct. then the remaining half, that's what will be divided of equally. all the properties, though. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Again, without being technical, because assuming they got married under 
yes, after absolute the family court, yes, after the community absolute, property. Yeah. property. So, so, half so half goes to the wife. Goes mm -hmm. to the wife, okay. and then the other half will be divided equally amongst the two children and the wife. So, mm -hmm. kung, I'm not very good with math, pero mm -hmm. siguro like one third, one third, one third sila doon sa mm -hmm. half. Sa value ng other yes. half. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, so kunwari, uh, let's say, 2 million pesos, 1 million automatically goes, goes to the, the wife. wife. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The other 1 million, paghahatian pa nung wife and the two kids mm -hmm. na equal shares. So, yes. they go one third. So that, okay. no, in a way, the wife becomes uh, considered as one child, one That's legitimate correct. child. One yes. legitimate yes. child. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, okay. pag yun ang assuming legitimate, uh -huh, kung yes. meron siyang illegitimate child, mm -hmm. ito yung laging dun, dun controversial. So, sabihin nila, yes. mm -hmm. uh, anak ka lang sa labas, wala kang karapatan sa mana. Pero, I guess you can clarify, meron karapatan ng illegitimate child, they get one half of the share of a legitimate child. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, one half. Oh. And with the onset of the family code, before there was a lull uh, with respect to ad adopted children, Mm -mm. But with the, with the onset of the family code, at least it's explicit that uh, the adopted child will have the same rights as, as a legitimate, legitimate child. So in this example, mm -hmm. assuming walang anak sa labas yung, mm -hmm. yung dad na ito, then it's about 300,000 roughly each, yes. the mother mm -hmm. and the two kids. Mm -hmm. Pero kung may anak sa labas, then yung anak sa labas pa would have to get around... One half. One half, oh, one oh, half of... Uh, so, so, hindi natin 300,000. Pero to clarify, yung mistress wala, ah. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> yung mistress Pero, no, wala. During, during the life yun. During the, during the life na yung binibig. A lot of people are asking, no? Let's say, if there's a wife and there are, let's say, children. Legitimate mm. children. Wife and children. Uh, do the parents in intestate... Again, we'll have to clarify to our viewers, ah. Pag mm -hmm. sinabi natin, intestate succession, that means uh, dying will with a will. Mm -hmm. And those... Uh, without, if it's intestate, that means dying without a will, no? So, mm -hmm. let's say, in this case, wala muna will, no? Because mm -hmm. we're gonna talk about wills later on. Mm -hmm. Walang will. Uh, and then, one, you have a wife and two legitimate children. Okay. Do the parents and the brothers and sisters inherit? Do na papasok yung rules of exclusion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. the, yeah. As... as um, According to succession, love goes down first before it ascends. Okay. So what does that mean? If there are descendants, then they would be taken priority. Mm -mm. Then with the parent, with the with the parents present together with the ascendants, the parents would be naturally excluded. Excluded. Kasi bababa mo na siya. Bababa. Bago siya okay. Okay. And then so from there we already mm -hmm. know how to distribute mm -hmm. yung theoretically in our example. Pagka namatay ng walang will, mm -hmm. how can you change that? If you're the dad in this example who passed away, how can you change the distribution if you write a will? Ah, uh, well... You have a wife and two kids, so... You can give more, actually, yes. to, let's mm -hmm. say, if you have a favorite child. Pwede mong dagdagan. Ang, ang general rule lang is you don't encroach on the legitimate na tinatawag. Mm -hmm. As a compulsory heir, yung anak, hindi mo pwedeng bawasan yung binibigay sa kanya ng patas. Because, mm -hmm. oh, let's explain so, legitimate. So, ano, Kasi, yung legitimate. Oh, Bale, oh. automatic yan. Na, kunwari, kami dalawa ni Rod, ang anak nyo. Mm -hmm. O, kunwari, ko yung dad, you're the mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tapos, mas favorite mo si Rod, mm -hmm. Carlos. Mm -hmm. so, For one reason or another. How can you increase his share without yeah. Uh, removing my right. Ano yung automatic ko na right na hindi mo pwedeng galawin? Let's say with 100,000, 100,000, the value mm -hmm. of the estate, of, of my estate. So, half of that would be the conjugal share. Mm -hmm. 50,000. So, so, it would oh. be 50,000. Mm -hmm. Now, with that 50,000, let's divide it further into half. Half would be reserved for the legitim and the half would be reserved for the free portion. Free portion. Mm -hmm. right. Now, legitim so is what the law mandates Mandate. that you yeah. will so, give. That's correct. Uh -oh. So, hindi mo pwedeng galawin yun. Yes. You cannot yes. manipulate that. Yes. Mm -hmm. right. So, kunwari, if you yeah. took aside the 25,000, yun pa yung paghahatian namin tatlo, the wife and the two mm -hmm. legitimate mm -hmm. children. That's correct. And then, the other extra 25,000, pwede mo ibuhos lahat kay mm -hmm. Rod through a will. That's yes. correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, lalaki nga yung share mo. So, compared. basically, if you said in your will, all to Rod, all, all to Rod. Rod. Ang ma effectively, ang mapupunta lang sa akin out of that 100,000 is really just 25, right? Not the, not, you cannot, it, yes, in other words, yes. it can't be the whole 100. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right? That, Unlike, I correct. think, in, in other jurisdictions, in, like yeah, in the U.S., in other, yeah, parts you give of the to your world, yeah. dog, I think, or, or to a stranger, or, to, yes. to a stranger yes. or, or to a, no. But mm -hmm. in this case, mm -hmm. the law, I guess, provides protection it's, for, it's the implied will. Implied will. That's why it's, will. It's, it's, okay. it's always better to have a will rather than without a will because mm -hmm. we, we would not want our legislate, legislators who was not really part of our family to say To whom, decide kanina yes. ibibigay. Mm -hmm. and, and, and of course, when you're talking about the free portion, as long as na satisfy your required share ni Rod as your mm -hmm. legitimate son and me, for instance, as your legitimate daughter, pwede mo ipamigay yung 
tinatawag natin free portion to your friends mm -hmm, that's to, correct. Anyone, to anyone even to your to, charity, kumare, to your to kasambahay the... na nag-alaga sa iyo for instance mm -hmm. or to charity or so to anyone part talaga of the Oi, <laughs> <laughs> iba pa yan. <laughs> iba yun. <laughs> now, 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 who can make a will? Because a lot of people are thinking uh, only if you're 50 plus or 60 plus or 70 plus, mm -hmm. they think that uh, making a will is for old people. But mm -hmm. who can who can make a will? And uh, at, you know what state of mind, etc. Basic requirement lang. Anyone not prohibited by law can make a will. So mm -hmm. it means anyone uh, at least 18 years of 18, age 18. and older. So at 18, you can make mm -hmm. a law. Uh, so kailangan mm -hmm. yes. of age ka na, hindi pwedeng... Mm -hmm. Mata pa, hindi oh, pwedeng... Oh. And of sound mind, dapat. Okay. Oh, oh. Yun yung sound mind. Yun yes, yes. Question, uh, question mark, marami. Mm -hmm. How do you determine that, di ba? Oh. Is, it, is it the time when you were you were at, making the will? Or? Yes. At that, you see, I, I look at wills as some, some, a basic contract. Hmm. If you buy something, you must know what you're buying. So, mm -hmm. and like, in, like in a will, if you want to divide your property, you must know how to divide it, who will you be giving mm -hmm. that to, so that is actually a basic requisite of soundness of mind. So sum okay. so summary, you're 18, sound mind. Sound you can, yes. you can yes. make, you make a will. Okay. Uh -oh. All right. So uh, we still have a lot to discuss. I want to go into the specifics. Mm -hmm. Kung paano talaga sinusulat, kailangan pa bang panotarize yan. Mm -hmm. But for now, we'll have to take a short break. Legal Help Desk will return after these messages. You're still watching Legal Help Desk on the Solar News Channel with our guests, Attorney Norieva De Vega and Attorney Crisanto Nicolas of the Nicolas and De Vega Law Office. Okay, Attorney Carlo, Attorney Nigi. So, um, let's let's discuss naman yung, yung formalities. Diba? Mm -hmm. formalities of, you mentioned there are two types of will, er, wills mm -hmm. earlier. Uh, you mm -hmm. said the holographic will, which is written. Let's, yes. let's go later na lang yun. Okay. I think that's easier. But let's go to the what you mentioned, the notarial will. Notarial the, will, yeah, okay. yes. There are... Uh, several things that the law provides, you know, technicalities and for mm -hmm. formalities, you know, formal requirements. What are mm -hmm. those formal requirements of having a notarial will? Well, first, it must be subscribed by the testator. Mm -hmm. When you say subscribe, what, how, what do you yeah. mean by what that? What do you mean by that? Then? Subscribe, but uh, he must sign it. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, to put it uh, simply, sign mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Can I type written? Yes, it must be. It must be uh, for a notarial will. It's uh, written. written. Okay. Yes, and uh, it must be signed on each and every page except the last on the left on hand the left. margin. Okay. And Hold on, I'll, I'll I'll pause it at this point. When when you specify left, if it, if it was signed the right, it can potentially not be allowed. Yes, that you run that risk. Although okay. uh, there is a civil code provision which says substantial compliance. Okay. Can, there was this instance one of the mm. witnesses forgot to sign one, one page, the then a lift, you know, and you, yeah. you usually sign many pages, mm -hmm. and it was allowed by the Supreme okay. Court. The reason why I asked that because we really have to be careful yes. here, because mm -hmm. you know, when, when mm -hmm. the court is already studying and evaluating the, mm -hmm. the yeah. will, if we, it's very important that you list down these. Formalities, no? yeah. which well, are very as, And then, no, we have to clarify to the people, because if mm -hmm. you have, if you leave a will, in order for it to be followed, meaning yung kung masunod yung linagay nyo doon, you have to comply with all of these requirements that mm -hmm. are being enumerated by Attorney Nikki. Yeah. So, subscribe, so, and mm -hmm. then sign mm -hmm. on the left. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and dapat on? written. And written. It has to be in written. writing. Type, type written, okay. Uh, uh, sign uh, on the left side, mm -hmm. left margin. Yes. Three and witnesses. Then, Three oh, witnesses. Important. Okay. Mm -hmm. Credible witnesses. Credible then. witnesses okay. who are not disqualified under the law. Mm -hmm. okay. When not disqualified, give an example. Um, if you're inheriting, mm -hmm. kung nakalagay yung pangalan mo as one of the tagapagmana dun sa will. But my witness is uh, actually an Australian friend who does not live in the Philippines. The, the law requires that he must be a Philippine resident. Oh, kailangan mm. resident of Philippines. Hindi kailangan mm -hmm. Filipino citizen, pero kailangan yeah. resident of Philippines. Yes, domiciled here in the mm -hmm. Philippines. Okay. Or convicted of a perjury. Yeah, he cannot okay. be a witness. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. So, dapat walang conviction. Ang mistress ba pwedeng uh, witness? Uh, <laughs> wala pang jurisprudence. Wala pang jurisprudence. Wala pang maaas. Long as hindi halata. Hindi alam. Ba, can that witness can, uh, should be able to read and write? Yes. Yes, because okay. that's a requirement. They it's have requirement. to attest that the, that okay. the testator understood okay. Okay. what the will is. Requirements There's... also for a witness, mm -hmm. uh, it must be over 18 years of age. Mm -hmm. okay, but must not be blind, deaf, and dumb. Mm -hmm. Must be able to read and write. Mm -hmm. okay. So, yun ang mga requirements for the witness. Kailangan ba may lawyer? By dumb, as in pipe. Ah, 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 pipe. And then, of Good course, point. that uh, disqualification uh, if you're assuming daughter or any ano na 
any person na tagapagmana rin, bawal mag-witness. Mag witness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, okay. so and three what, what witnesses, else? Yeah. what three else? Witnesses and, and the yeah. three witnesses must subscribe and attest uh, to the signing of the will in front of the testator and of each other. Each other yes. Okay. okay. So, hindi pwedeng parang separate room sila nagpipermahan, mm -hmm. they don't see each other signing. Uh, okay. The witnesses so, should be, should do, each of the witnesses should be seeing the other witnesses signing. Yes, okay. yes. In, in, in and the they same should room. see the, the person making the will That's also correct. signing the will. That's yes, correct. in front so, of them. No? So, do you need a lawyer there? Do you need a lawyer at that time in a, um, in a notarial will? Not yet. Not, not yet. Not, not yet. yet. But you see, you can further expand this. Uh, the law does not give answers to the present situation like, can you do it by via Skype? Mm -hmm. Because you can see each other, right? I mean, these are things that maybe mm -hmm. later on yeah. our legislators can address. But I suppose to be safe, we have yes. to no. tell our viewers, just follow yung normal requirements yes. na hindi magbibigay ng gray mm -hmm. area, meaning mm -hmm. be physically in front of each other and then you have to see the testator no. sign. Oh. Mm -hmm. Now, language. Language. Eh, may ano bang requirement ba sa language? It yeah. must be in a language or dialect known to the testator. Mm -hmm. right. So, pwedeng Bicolano, yes. Ilocano. Oh. Okay. 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 Uh, wait, hold on. Uh, I'm sorry. We have a... Sorry to interrupt. No, we have a caller on the line and our caller's name is Janet. Janet, good evening. Are you there? Hello, hello. Good evening. Uh, si Janet Puto from Cebu. Okay, hi Janet. Uh, what, what's your question, ma'am? Uh, it's like this. Uh, I'm married for 20 years now, and then yung naasawa ko is divorced siya. May dalawa siyang anak. Okay. And then meron kami prenup. And then along the way, may, may negosyo kami. Uh, magtanong lang ako kung ano, um... May claim pa ba yung dalawang anak niya sa first wife niya sa negosyo namin? Okay. So, walang will. Meron mm -hmm. silang prenuptial agreement. But, but this... Si Janet and his in the current husband have yes. a prenup. Uh -oh. Di ba, Janet? May prenup agreement kayo? Oo, uh -oh, meron. And does it cover the business na pinag-uusapan ninyo? Na, what... Wala, wala. Hindi na-mention yan. Hindi na-mention. Okay. Sorry. But in the prenup, ano yung pinag-uusapan nyo na kasama sa ari-arian ng husband mo? Uh, kasi at that time, wala pa kami negosyo. Yung mga ano lang, sinabi niya sa prenup, yung, yung may certain amount na para sa akin every year, ganon, na we stayed married together. And then, ang tanong ko lang kasi, kasi may dalawa siyang anak na sa labas, Kung may claim ba yung anak niya sa negosyo namin, in case may mangyari sa asawa ko. May anak siya sa, lab sa labas? Or a, from or the a, first a, wife. From the first, first wife. wife. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The question is actually difficult from the stand standpoint of Philippine law because we do not have divorce here. Yeah. So we have to look at I the... Know, I think he was... You were legitimately annulled, no? Annulled or divorced? That is a... Annulled ba kayo? Kasi para niya yung husband ko. Pero, ah, okay. Let's recognize uh, your own. Mm. Mm. Uh, a foreigner so siya? After the divorce, married kami legally dito sa, even in, sa country niya. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, okay. Since uh, we're assuming that his, his, his country, his original country, is he American or anong country siya? If, it, if his country allows divorce, then pwede. You can Germany. Get, you can, Germany. Uh, Germany. Okay. Germany. Okay. So okay. I, we're, we assume uh -huh. that that's allowed. Mm -hmm. Okay. But he, he does have legitimate children from the previous marriage? Is that what you're saying, Janet? Oh, meron. Meron. Uh, so, ang tanong ni Janet, make claim by yung two legitimate children. Dun sa business na nila ngayon. Sa business nila ngayon. Uh -oh. Kung may mangyari dun sa husband niya. Ah, may mangyari sa husband niya. Mm -hmm. So, we're talking kanya. about, oo. Oh. Oh, oh. Um, yung future, potential yeah. na succession mm -hmm. in a sense, kung walang well, ano, well, walang by, will. By analogy, most probably yes. Because even after a de decree of annulment, for example, the ties between the legitimate children and one of the parents still exist. It's mm -hmm. only the tie There's between the But the maybe to clarify spouses. to Janet, mm -hmm. yung mahahabol lang ng mga anak, nung, anak ng husband mo from the previous marriage will be from his share. That's correct. Meaning, dun sa share niya, dun sa negosyo ninyo, with respect to your share, they cannot touch that. So, mm -mm. Don't negotiate under my name? Even if the negotiate is under your name. Yes. Yes, yes. That's the assumption yes. of, uh, of conjugality. Conjugality, yeah. Mm -hmm. Kaya tinatanong namin, Janet, kanina kung anong cover ng prenup. Kasi mm -hmm. kung sa prenup ninyo, ina-exclude yung mga properties that are in your name, then baka sakaling you can argue that walang share yung husband mo dun sa business, therefore, yung mga anak niya rin, walang share dito sa business mo if something happens to him. But, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think you should also ask, Janet, if... Damn 
nag-exist ka lang yun, yung mga five years later na sa marriage namin. Yung, yung business only so, happened yeah. five years into the marriage. Five years saying? into the marriage. Okay. Mm -hmm. One thing siguro that you should ask, Janet, is what are the laws in that other country? Because perhaps in, the, in, in those laws, there's a specific provision uh, applicable to the children of the of the of the divorce the first wife yeah. mm -hmm. that may perhaps say puede or hindi. Mm -hmm. That's why I said it's difficult because you're dealing with Philippine law mm -hmm. and also of American law. Yeah, yeah. or German, German German law. I'm sorry. Although sa atin, um, just to give you uh, broad uh, advice, mm -hmm. uh, normally meron tayong tinatawag na rules pag may conflict ng dalawang laws mm -hmm. bansa ng Germany and the Philippines. So, when property is located here, kung yung business nyo ay located dito, lalo na kung may mga assets yan, mga kotse, building, uh, ang mag apply would be Philippine law. And sa batas natin, if you did not exclude this in your prenuptial agreement, meaning hindi naka-exclude doon na kung ano mang yung negosyo nyo ay pag-aari mo lang or na sa'yo lang pagka nasa pangalan mo, then ang assumption dyan would be hati kayo dun sa negosyo. So, to the extent na yung half ng negosyo would be in the name of, I mean, pag-aari ng husband mo, then if something happens to him, the children, the legitimate children from the first marriage would have a claim to their share. Mm -hmm. Pero dun sa share pa ng husband mo, again, may share ka rin dun as mm -hmm. the legitimate wife. Alright, mm -hmm. we hope to help you out. Uh, okay. okay, hope we help you out, Janet. Pero ask him yeah. to make a will na, yeah, Janet. Ask him, ask him to make a will. Para <laughs> yung to the extent na yung, leave, yung portion doon, as long as masatisfy niya yung share ng mga anak, then the rest, ibigay niya na sa'yo, di ba? Alright. Okay. Thank you very much, Janet. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank okay, you. we have a lot of questions. Uh, yeah, we have Lisa. another question yeah. from Twitter. Yeah. Lisa tweeted, My wife and I have acquired some lands and plan on making a will stating we leave everything to our children. What are the steps and requirements that we need to make a will? Okay. So oh, yeah, we're, go we're going through it. Yeah, kanina, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. so well, well, if you were listening earlier, can continue, no? yeah, if you were listening earlier, Alisa, mm -hmm. uh, we made a rundown of all the requirements of a notarial will. Maybe that might be an appropriate time mm -hmm. to bring up a holographic, holographic will, will. Uh, mm -hmm. a written will. So kanina, let's finish first yung written, yeah. notarized, tatlong yeah. witnesses mm -hmm. who have to sign on the left-hand side. Mm -hmm. And very important, that we haven't discussed it, kailangan ng notary public. Yes, acknowledged mm -hmm. before a notary public. Yeah. Now, I, I, I read also that uh, in, it's not sufficient to have a jurat, but uh, it, it has to be an attestation, attestation clause. clause. Can you explain a little bit uh, this what an attestation clause well, it's, is it's uh, compared the, to a jurat? It's in the clause indicated under the law, under the civil code. It says that the witnesses signed in the presence of each other mm -hmm. and of the testator, and uh, that they appear before the, before the notary public. So they must comply with what the... Civil code actually provides if they and the miss, number of pages. Yes, and the number of pages. pages. Yeah. So hindi lang sufficient yung usual yes. Uh, yes, uh, affidavit na mm -hmm. jurat. Yes, yes. Hindi, hindi sufficient yes, yun. That's correct. Right. Right. Siguro let's go. Obviously, yung notarial will. And dami dami requirements. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. to be safe, yeah. maybe you need a lawyer or someone who knows the law to mm -hmm. be there for you and ask. May checklist. Okay, na comply na lahat. But mm -hmm. maybe yung mas simpleng type of will na hindi kailangan lahat ng requirements na to. That's yep. the holographic, the holographic will. Will. That okay. Maybe you can give the requirements for that. The only requirements here, it must be entirely dated, signed, and written by the testator. Yes. 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 Dated, signed, signed. And written. Written. Handwritten. Fully written. Handwritten. Oh, so it can be partially typed and then, uh, no, no. then, uh, and then no. uh, additional. So mm -hmm. it has to be fully written. And who will then attest to the, uh, the, hand, the fact that it was handwritten and really made Good. by... By, by the testator. If you file it in court already, then the, the court will require three witnesses who are familiar with the handwriting of the testator. Pag contested. Pag, contested. Pag hindi contested, yes. isa lang. Isa lang. All right. So, if you do a holographic will, be prepared that you will have three people who will testify that this is your handwriting. Now, mm -hmm. pwede ba yan, let's say, on uh, a tissue paper or, or, or kailangan pa? Papel, what kind of form? If I wrote it in a wall, for example. Mm -hmm. if I, wrote, I mean, mm -hmm. I know we're going absurd here, but let's say I wrote it in some in, in a book. I wrote in a book. <laughs> But sometimes you know they don't have a piece of paper. You're, you're dying. You're mm -hmm. right. And it happened to my to my uncle. Oh, he was okay. he was wala dying. Wala man na nagabot ng papel. Wala, wala. <laughs> they, so they they did the pro forma and the like, thumb mark lang siya. But so it can mm -hmm. happen that you may not have a piece of paper at the time and you're, mm -hmm. you're, you're you're dying. Let's say does it require it to be in the what particular piece of paper or entirely what? possible? That is entirely possible. So long as the testator was sound of dispose and, and of disposing mind at the time, mm -hmm. and uh, knew that he was actually writing a will and uh, uh, 
written, dated, and signed that tissue that, that's paper. Sufficient. That yes, that's sufficient. sufficient. Okay, right. so okay. that's a more simple one. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, we wow. still have more to discuss with our guests. Legal help desk will be back, so stay tuned. Teacher. You're still watching Legal Help Desk on the Solar News Channel with our guests, Attorney Norieva de Vega and Attorney Crisanto Nicolas of the Nicolas and de Vega Law Office. Okay, so again, Attorney uh, Carlo, Attorney Nikki. So uh, we're, we just finished uh, discussing the holographic will. Mm -hmm. uh, which is the more simple one. Which is the simpler one. one. Yeah. So for those people who, who are a bit uh, confused no, with all the requirements of a notarial will, it's actually, it's actually advi wait, maybe it's advisable if you find that too complex, you can just write a will. Mm -hmm. And could it be as simple as that, as basically saying, all to my wife and to my children, and then dated and signed? Form of a love letter, yes. Form of a love letter, okay, so... Okay. Entirely written, dated, uh, and signed by the testimony. And it doesn't matter if it contains extraneous things like mm -hmm. your philosophy so, in life and all that. So, if you're writing a husband mo and it says, To my dear wife, mm -hmm. I leave everything to you and mm -hmm. to our children. Then he's signed and dated. So, I can present that to court and say, this is will. Niya. Ah, well, th there, there's the difficult part, mm -hmm. the intent. Because mm -hmm. you must have disposing intent i mean it must you must intend that written instrument to be the will mm -mm. because it could be just some scribbling or you know mm. random things that we just write but we did not really intend that to be our will okay so, so yes. if it's very clear na mm -hmm. it's in the form of a love letter pero mm -hmm. nakalagay upon my death I mm -hmm. want yes. to make sure that I leave everything to you and our children, mm -hmm. or I leave everything to you and our children. Mm -hmm. Then that it's possible that you can yes. present that to court and say this is his will. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, that's possible, yes. Mm -hmm. Now, if there's any portion of uh, the disposition, no? mm -hmm. and then we were talking about this uh, off cam, right? like for example, I don't like one of my kids, mm -hmm. and I omit him mm -hmm. from my will. When I was specific to child, uh, to child A, child B, child C, and then I had the child D that I totally omitted. Mm -hmm. uh, or that you wrote to Konware, child D, I will leave nothing. Uh, leave, I will leave nothing. Mm -hmm. Ano yung effect nun? Ano yung effect of, of, of that? Uh, which I understand it's called preteration or, mm -hmm. or you know, there's a technical term for it. But uh, is that, does that have the effect of disinheriting your, your child? No, it doesn't have that effect. Actually, it, it produces dev devastating results. No? It mm -hmm. will annul the institution of wow. heirs. Meaning the whole will becomes mm. null and void. The leaving, court will not... Leaving legacies. Legacies and, and devices. The devices. But if there are no legacies and devices, then you're right. Uh -oh. Siguro, will. clarify first to yeah, what, our non-lawyer okay. viewers out there. What do you mean by legacies and devices? Uh, well, if, if there's a will, and uh, you have children, and uh, you have a free portion that you give to friends, for example, or to a particular institution, then these are legacies and devices. Mm -hmm. Devices mm -hmm. more on the uh, real property, mm -hmm. personal mm -hmm. property and legacies. So, kunwari, I have several properties. Mm -hmm. I have a house and lot, mm -hmm. I have a condominium, cars, mm -hmm. and then I decided, Rod, as my very loyal co-host, I, I give one of my cars All to right. you. Alright! So, that's a device. Okay? Uh -oh. Oh, so which car? <laughs> <laughs> it, is, Rod, it depends which car. So, assuming, let's say, mm -hmm. I leave I, a Mercedes-Benz for mm -hmm. Rod. Mm -hmm. So, yun, you will, mm. That will be respected. Yes. Yes. And then the rest of my mm -hmm. properties... Um, yun yung, the rest of the disposition will be oh, annulled. Yun yung void annulled. Na. Mm -hmm. annulled. So what happens there is that will interstate succession come into play? To, yung to the that rules, extent, yes. The rules yes. of interstate extent. succession, mm -hmm. meaning the rules now... Legitim, will. Mm -hmm. oh, yung compulsory. Oh. So, so, so just to clarify to the mm -hmm. viewers, kumari, in that example, I left a gift to my friend Rod, mm -hmm. na yung kotse nga, but then the rest of my properties, I divided to my three kids when in fact I have four mm -hmm. tapos tinanggal mm -hmm. ko isa dahil nagalit ako dun sa fourth child mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then because I removed this child and mm -hmm. that removal is invalid hindi ka pwedeng basta-basta mag-disinherit mm -hmm. then what happens is as if walang will they will just divide it according to yung rule natin yes. kanina yeah. equal na hatian sa kanila uh -huh. But you know, th this is how technical succession is eh. if you add just one minor detail for example during the lifetime of the testator binigyan siya ng kotse that could, that could be a donation. So instead of annulling everything, it's just a mere completion of legitim. So everything that was stated in the will will be respected 
dadagdagan mo lang kung ano yung kulang. Actually, mm-hmm. that's interesting that you brought that up, mm-hmm. Attorney Carlo. Yes. Kasi that's actually a running joke among my sisters na pagka mahal ang taste mo masyado, lagi ka nagpapabiling mahal na alahas sa parents uh-huh. mo, mm-hmm. binilihan ka ng mahal na kotse, but your other siblings hindi naman, they can mm-hmm. later on question that and say, yan na yung nagpa-advance ka na yes, sa mana. Right. Oh. And mm-hmm. imaminus nila dun sa kwentahan. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, donation interview was, they call it. Yes, uh, okay. yes. So, is that taken into account when, when, when computing for the inheritance or the estate? It yes. is. Because sometimes, okay. a parent can be too picky and... Bibigay lahat ng sa favorite, leaving mm-hmm. almost may, nothing. May alam akong ganun. May mga alam akong ganun na may favorite sila. Favorite. Mm-hmm. Uh, pero, but uh, mm-hmm. since we're talking about uh, leaving out some compulsory heirs like yung anak mo or yung wife mo na that might affect your will, ano yung talagang grounds for this inheriting? Wherein, kasi people will be asking, so never na. Like what if ang laki-laki ng kasalanan sa akin ng isang anak ko? Mm-hmm. Do you mean to tell me I still give, have to give him property when I die? So, mm-hmm. what's the rule here? When can you really disinherit? Mm-hmm. Well, uh, the grounds for this inheritance are very specific. Mm-hmm. So, if it's not there, you cannot use that. Mm-hmm. But let, let's look at the more basic some, yeah. examples. Some of the examples, yeah. Commission of a crime. Because mm-hmm. you're, ta- you're talking about three heirs here for that. The parent, mm-hmm. the spouse, and the children, right? So, commission of a crime, if the testator is a parent, then commission of a crime by a child against, against a, parent a parent would be a ground mm-hmm. to disinherit. Any crime? Uh, yes, any crime. Any mm-hmm. crime. Okay. Commission of a crime. Example okay. naman, um, spouse. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you commit a ground for legal separation, commission of, gives ground for legal separation, let's say, um, violence or ng babae, that would be a ground for disinheritance also. Mm-hmm. But uh, okay. the point there is, there is a restrictive enumeration that if mm-hmm. it's not there, for example, nagsigawan lang kayo, that might not be sufficient for disinheriting a person. Okay. Mm-hmm. Attempted if, murder. Ayun, attempt yes. on the life. Attempt on the life of, of um, parents, if spouse, you, If you impute a crime, di ba? In, mm-hmm. uh, involving a, a, a particular level of punishment, if di ba? It, if oh. it's proven to six be grounds. Years. Six yes. years, yes. di ba? Yun yung unworthiness a naman. Meron mm-hmm. ding sinasabi, incapable of succeeding by virtue of unworthiness. Mm-hmm. Kasama doon. Or if, let's say, you prostitute your child. Mm-hmm. So, as a parent, you're unworthy to inherit from your child. Mm-hmm. And plus so, that, may, mga ganun, may ganyan, oh. uh, you can disin- disinherit. But of course, the burden of proof will be on, on, on the, those claiming that there yes, was this inheritance. Yes. But that's mm-hmm. a very interesting yeah. point, yung mm-hmm. sinabi ni Attorney Carlo, na grounds for legal separation. So, pag nambababae yung asawa that's mo, Pwede. you can disinherit mm-hmm. Enough them. Enough na yun. You don't have okay. to prove. You just have to have, to have given ground. Okay, okay. so okay. very, very helpful tip yeah. to the yeah. ones yeah. out there. Na. <laughs> okay, kung kayo medyo mayaman, medyo may kaya, you can. You, you, kung mga husband nyo, sabi sa ni Nikki, huwag nang magpahuli. Now, meron mga people who are disqualified from inheriting, even by will. May mga ganun ba? May mga, mm-hmm. there are certain types yes. of people who I, I cannot give to or disqualified. One example, a priest who has administered the last rites before the testator oh, died. Okay. Right. So, hindi siya pwede and his uh, relatives within the fourth degree. Mm-hmm. So, up to the pinsan ng priest. Yes. Okay. So, mahirap maging... Yeah, uh, so, no, disqualified yun. Oh, disqualified oh. from... Uh, no. And also, if you are one of the witnesses to mm-hmm. the will, okay. uh, you'll be disqualified. Except, of course, uh, ilalabas natin dito yung legitima. If they have legitimes, they will still mm-hmm. get that. Mm-hmm. But okay. outside of the legitimes, they won't get anything. And in any circumstance, a mistress cannot even get anything... For even by will. Even by of will. Of course, legitim, we know, wala. By will, hindi rin pwede. It, it's so, a policy of the law that mm. you cannot give donations such as that to mm. illegal unions. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay, so yeah, for men out there, ah, yung mga... And women. And women out there. Okay, women out there. If they have third-party <laughs> relationships, then you cannot leave anything to yeah. them in okay. your will. All right, we still have some questions from our viewers. A hot topic. Jacob sent us this question. My mom shares a property with her brothers and sisters. They're planning to sell it. If she she dies before it's sold, will her kids inherit her share? Or does she have to state that this in her will? Do the kids need to have a special power of attorney? We are U.S. citizens living in the state. So you, you, did you get the, uh, mm-hmm. the, no, the situation? So they're, uh, the they're still mom, trying to sell the property. The mom uh, is sharing with her brothers and sisters. They're mm-hmm. trying to sell the property. Mm-hmm. But in case their mom dies, mm-hmm. will they automatically be take on her share? 
Mm-hmm. So, ano, ano yung ano? Yan yung tiyatawag na right of representation. Yes. Okay. The children, uh, by virtue of the right of representation, they can inherit uh, dun sa ano ng mother nila, mm-hmm. sa share. And oh. from a, from a uh, practical perspective naman, since they are U.S. citizens, they, they might, they will encounter difficulty, although they are entitled to inherit, they will encounter administrative difficulty getting the title to their names. So, uh, I, my citizens. suggestion is mag, you, you have dual citizenship yes, first yes. before you attempt to do that. Yeah, that's a good, just to make it's it, a good qualifier. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you can, even no, if you're a uh, Just a point here. No? Uh, most people think that uh, the, 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 the title of, of, let's say, inherited property only passes upon a will or the, the probate or what have you. Mm-hmm. When does the title or the share actually transfer? At what point does it transfer to the children or the heirs? It's transmissible upon the point of death. Upon the, mm-hmm. oh, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The law is as soon as mama dies. Mama dies. Okay. So it's automatically the mm-hmm. theirs. Yes. Yeah. Right. Although but of it's course, an undivided yung caveat share. dito, yes. you have to pay the estate yes. taxes, yes. which is a topic for another episode. And we we, we note also, you said in the batas natin, property rights and obligations, obligations. which are transmissible. Mm-hmm. So while your, for example, parents have property, but don't forget the rights and obligations. Mm-hmm. So if Obli- you have Mamamana rin. Oh. Mamamana in a sense na kailangan bawasin muna yes. sa property. So, so kunyari, ang utang is 100, ang property ng parents mo eh, 80,000. Eh, wala ka nang siyempre babayaran kasi to the extent lang of the, in- of the inheritance. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. if there is something remaining, we still have taxes. Oh, oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, mababawasan pa rin. So in other words, you cannot, if, if over ang debt sa, mm-hmm. sa property, the, the heirs are not, uh, yes. are not So, uh, another important point to viewers out there, ang property na mamana, pero ang utang hindi. So, ibabawas yun dun sa property, pero kung kulang pa yung property pang sagot sa utang ng, for instance, your dad or whoever who passed away, hindi pwedeng singilin sa inyo so, yeah. bilang tagapagmana. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, we have another question from Errol. My parents have been married for years, but my father has been living with his mistress for almost a decade. My mother's net worth is bigger compared to my father. Our properties, savings, and cars are named under my mom. In the case that my mother passes before him, what will happen to our house and my mother's assets? Is there a way to make sure that only my mother's children and her siblings get the inheritance by will? Or is it required by law that my father gets half? Ito yung mm. sinabi mo kanina, pwede mm. ma-disqualify yung father na, na mababae, but how can they ensure that this happens? Okay. In this case, oh. the, okay. the assumption is there's no annulment yet. Diba? So there's they're, they're legally married. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're still legally married. So you write a will. Preferably, siguro, a holographic will na lang kasi mas madali. But you make sure that uh, you state there why you're not giving whatever inheritance that, the, that your spouse will get. You must specify that yeah, he gave ground for annulment, nangaliwa siya. Oh, right oh, and there. has been living with the mistress for mm-hmm. one for a decade so now. So he can be disinherited. He because can be disinherited. The practical the... advice, mag-file muna siyang legal separation para wala na rin ano, wala nang kailangan wala proof question. Mm-hmm. na question na talaga ba ng babae. It's Uh-oh. already a matter of a public record. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's a very good advice, Errol. Um, tell the wife, bali the mother, who has mm-hmm. most of the assets, to just file for legal separation now. Anyway, having a mistress is a ground to file for legal separation. Mm-hmm. Para, but of course, to be sure, also make a will that states na, na mababae, kaya yes. din is yeah, The problem with legal separation then is at the middle of the proceedings, if somebody dies, either mm-hmm. parties, it gets dismissed. Yeah. Regardless kung may ebidensya ka na, parul na yung court, pa decide mm-hmm. na siya. Mm-hmm. If there's no decision and somebody dies, it's as if nothing happened. Mm-hmm. So, the will is... So, be sure, na, make the will. Na ngayon. Oh. <laughs> oh, make the will. Basta had written, may date oh. and sign. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, how, how often can you can you edit a will? I mean, I, I might do the will, for example, medyo I'm, I'm healthy, fine, mm-hmm. I'm well, and, and of course, maybe my properties will grow or maybe mm-hmm. I'll dispose some of my properties. Are there rules though, when it comes to editing it? And, and you can edit a will anytime. anytime. You know, by virtue of a codicil, pwedeng ganon. Mm-hmm. Or kung halimbawa holographic will, if you erase, kailangan na ika-countersign mo. Mm-hmm. And then you can Sorry. revoke a will anytime. You mm-hmm. can tear it up, you can burn, burn it, it yeah. as long as that's your intention. You can even ask someone else to tear it and burn it for you. Mm-hmm. Basta it's based upon your express instructions. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it's always the act of the testator, what he wants to do. If he wants a new will, tear, tearing it up is a positive act. Mm, okay. That, okay. that makes it no, invalid. Th- quickly, lang before we end, I know we're gonna end, no, but uh, mm-hmm. just because a lot of viewers are, are asking me also, do all wheels have uh, wheels have to go through probate, and what is probate? 
Okay. Because people hear yes. that term all the time. What is probate? That yes, all mm -hmm. wills have to undergo yes. probate. Mm -hmm. So probate means uh, it's a proceeding in court mm -hmm. whereby you prove the due authenticity and the execution of the will. Mm -hmm. So, una titing na formal requirements if you mm -hmm. complied with that, mm -hmm. and then second titing na ng sound mind mm -hmm. uh, yung testator. Mm -hmm. And then once uh, the will has been probated, ibig sabihin okay na siya, good to go, settlement na yon. So hindi ka agad hatiin. The will still has to be to reviewed by the court. Oh, okay. Take note, uh, if if there's a will, it's the duty of the administrator, any person who has knowledge of the will, to give it to the court within two months. Otherwise, he stands to be liable for 2,000 pesos. So, <laughs> okay. Mabigat. Mabigat. Okay. Dati, dati, okay. Mabigat yung dati. Oh, pero ngayon, hindi na. Hindi okay, na. Dahil, okay. Uh, sayang no, ang dami pa sana. Dami. Dami pa usapan, um, but kulang na yung time. Oh. So for now, we'd like to thank our guests, Attorney Norieva de Vega and Attorney Crisanto Nicolas of the Nicolas and de Vega Law Office for being with us tonight. Thank you again. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Our pleasure. Our pleasure. Mm -hmm. Legal Help Desk will return after these reminders. Welcome back to Legal Help Desk on the Solar News Channel. And tonight we had a very interesting topic. I love that, that topic. That yeah. was my favorite subject Kasi in law school. There, yeah. It's really usually a point of contention. Kaya regardless of how morbid it might sound na mm -hmm. pag-usapan yung mana at pag paano mm -hmm. i-distribute yung ari-ari an mo when you die, it's really a practical thing to do. Yeah, and it's also, uh, apart from, this is just one aspect of estate planning, by the way. No? Uh, kasi, uh, this is just disposition. You also have yung, yung property preservation, di ba? And also yung uh, to, to determine what you'll have to pay. Also, you know? I guess you know? a helpful yeah. tip here is that you actually do the your family a favor, yung mga iiwanan ninyo when you pass away, if you write a will because hindi na sila mag-aaway-aaway among mm -hmm. themselves kung paano hatiin yeah. because they just follow what's written. And mm -hmm. based on our discussion tonight, there are two types of will. One is what you call the notarial will. This is more complicated but once you prove it in court, it's um, easier to implement kasi it can be very detailed in a sense kasi uh, you comply with all the requirements. One, it has to be written and it has to be in the language that is known to the person who the is distributing or, yeah. the, the properties. Meaning, mm -hmm. kung um, mas komportable na in Tagalog, then Tagalog is fine. But it has to be written. It has to be signed by the person, the testator. The testator yung mamamatay na magpapamigay ng properties. You have to have three witnesses and kailangan of legal age sila and also it has to be signed by your witnesses on the left margin on each and every page and you also have to have a notary public there mm -mm. and yan pa lang yung mga ibang requirements but actually as to form marami pa yan kailangan numbered na actually by, letters, letters. by letters so Same again pages, it yeah. helps to have a lawyer there or someone who knows the law. So it's not a requirement that you need a lawyer present, but then it helps because there are many requirements. But yeah, a tip, a tip. If you want a notarial, uh, that's why they call it a notarial will, right? Um, it, it really does help. Uh, j just don't get any notary public that you see, you know, but you get a real lawyer talang, uh, who's really into uh, succession. And, and he will provide you with all the details. Your know, attestation clause has to be correct. Because the thing is, once uh, if you miss out any of the technical rules no, and formalities, it can be uh, totally disregarded by, mm -hmm. by the court. And, that, and we don't want that to happen. No? So, so, you know, notarial will. The other one, of course, is the holographic will. And the, the, this is more, more basic and more simple. All it requires really is that it's written. It's entirely dated. by the hand. Yeah, written hand. entirely. Hindi pwedeng okay. handwriting Correct. and then type. Kailangan talagang handwritten. Yeah, written, dated, and signed. That's all uh, that is required. And of course, uh, that has to be very specific. Uh, it doesn't have to be specific. You can say all to my wife and my two children. It, it can just say that. No? But you know, there are certain rules on legitim as to what you can give uh, and uh, what the law sets aside. No? There is such a thing as a legitim and that's what the law sets aside. We can't summarize all of that in, in this recap, but basically there are specific provisions under the law, under the civil code, where, where it outlines what each 
uh, compulsory air gets. And after that is set aside, that's the, the free portion. Yun lang ang you can dispose via will. Mm -mm. Okay, and on. rule of thumb, you, kahit gano pa kayo kagalit sa anak nyo or kung sino family member nyo, kahit sa asawa ninyo, you cannot just suddenly take them out of your will. Uh, there are specific grounds for this inheritance. But good news to those with unfaithful wives or husbands, yes. you can disinherit them for unfaithfulness, for instance, and any ground basically for legal separation, like physical abuse. So, yeah. yun yung mga broad tips natin for this evening. Correct. And always remember, inheritance covers not just the property, but also the, the rights and the obligations. And the specific rule there is that basically inherit the property and of course the utang also. So, ano man yung balance doon, yun lang makukuha nyo uh, as the heirs. But if the utang is more than the properties, you as the heirs will not have to pay for that utang. Minsan kasi may mga utang mm -hmm. na loob yeah, or parang uh -oh. di ba, mga yeah. mga utang ng mga parents ko. So so wala wala yung mga utang ng parents niyo is is not your utang. All right. Okay. Now we have some questions from our viewers. Uh, I think this is for the past topics, week, the yeah. past week, no. Julio is asking, I have an 8-year-old illegitimate son who I've been supporting financially and emotionally. His mother recently got married and wants to adopt my son and change his last name to her new husband. I did not allow this, especially since it, it will mean that she will not give me visitation rights for him. I'm ready to take this to court if I have to. Do I have a chance of winning this? My son has told me numerous times he favors me more than his mother. Okay, good news and bad news, Julio. Um, the mother does not actually have to adopt the son. I'm assuming from your question that the, the son here is the biological son of your uh, either ex-wife or ex-girlfriend and you're the biological father and this is your illegitimate child. But since she's biological mother, unless below 18 she's pinanganak tong anak nyo, then she does not have to adopt him. But in order for the son to be adopted by her husband, her new, new husband, husband you have to give your consent as the biological father. Mm -hmm. So, hindi basta basta ma-adopt yan without your consent. And um, again, uh, another thing about adoption is, lalo na if, if he's already of age, is that they also take into consideration uh, the sentiments of the child. So, mm -hmm. if he does not want to be adopted, lalo na pagka above 18 na, he would have to also give his consent to the adoption. Did he so, mention the age of the child? No. De, no, that's okay, why okay, say, I was oh, saying yeah. above 18, na, the child will also have to consent and that would play a role, if uh, a factor there if he mm -hmm. said na he prefers you over the mother. Oh, yeah. Okay. We also have received some comments from our viewers on our program. Renan posted on our Facebook page, As a high school teacher, I always recommend your show to my students since at a very early age, they must be well aware of our laws. Thank you so much. That's a very nice comment. Thank you very much, ma'am. And, uh, and more power to you, of course, your teacher, and you are a hero. Uh, Marion shared his sentiment uh, by saying, Ang galing ng program nyo, sir at ma'am. Mabuhay po kayo. Mabuhay ka rin. Oh, that Marianne, really yeah. warms my heart. Yes. Thank you for oh. those comments. All right. All right. That's all the time that we have for tonight. We, we wish we had more, but uh, that's it. We'd like to thank all of our viewers who uh, sent us their legal questions via social media. And of course, if you have any questions or comments, on tonight's episode, you may send these to our Facebook and Twitter pages. I'm Attorney Rod de Pumuseno. And I'm Attorney Karen Jimeno. If you have missed any of our previous episodes, you may watch these at your convenience anytime, anywhere by downloading the Solar News Channel app from Google Play and the Apple App Store. Join us again next Monday as we discuss your legal rights on interstate succession. Good night.